overall, you know, I, I heard a lot of talk about it sounds like we're going to spend more money. And, you know, the American people spoke uh, quite uh, loudly last election cycle that they wanted to have jobs as our focus and also get this debt and this deficit under control. And what we heard tonight was more federal spending. The question is how we're going to come up with it. Your colleague Michelle Bachman tonight is giving a uh, Tea Party response to the State of the Union address. Uh, what do you think is going to resonate more with the American people, the GOP response from uh, Paul Ryan or her response tonight? Well, I think uh, Paul Ryan is literally doing his response as we speak right now, and there's no doubt that that's the official Republican response. And, uh, you know, my colleague from Minnesota, just like uh, all other 533 colleagues uh, will be doing their own response. So I think uh, many of the message, much of the message that I think both of them will be talking about will focus upon fiscal issues and uh, will resonate quite well. And there, there's a lot of his speech that sounded very bipartisan to me. Uh, he talked about uh, reducing the size of government, making it more efficient. That's our language. Uh, he talks about simplifying the tax code, uh, corporate as well as individual. That's something I've been fighting for for 12 years here. It was a good, uh, comprehensive speech. Uh, I thought there was something in it that that everyone can agree with, and there are things in it that people probably will find dis find uh, uh, disagreeable to them. Uh, is there anything in the speech that you found to be disagreeable personally? Uh, frankly, yes. Uh, I mean, uh, um, I think um, I think that the notion uh, that the president will. Um, um, veto any bill that has an earmark in it. My own opinion is that there are good earmarks and there are bad earmarks, and I think uh, that Congress, uh, you know, we we as members of Congress know our districts better than anybody else, uh, and we know where federal vest investment would be best applied, uh, and I think that Congress has to retain some authority to direct that investment as opposed to leaving it uh, in the hands of uh, of um, uh, basically um, employees of federal agencies.